This is Twit. And then moving on, I've brought the real star of tonight's show. I've been hearing about this phone. Yes. So this is a <laughs> Doogee device. Um, it's not a shiny flagship. It's a device in the $150 price range. It's a 5.5-inch Full HD screen. Here we go. And we're going to do this live on All About Android. I'm going to take the screen protector off. This is Whoa. the factory factory <gasps> oh, device. That's my, oh. that's my favorite moment in any yeah. of these. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So it's you like know it's really... Opening a banana. It's yeah. really, <laughs> or a Christmas present. <laughs> do we have a banana for scale? <laughs> no, oh, I don't shoot. Really do. No, we don't have a banana for scale. That's a shame. Yeah. So it's a 5.5-inch device with a MediaTek chipset. This particular one has 4 gigabytes of RAM. 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This one is expandable with micro, micro SD. The front-facing camera is supported by a front-facing flash, which isn't uh, entirely new, but it's an extra feature nice to have, yeah. for your, taking your self, selfies in the dark. It's dual Respect your selfie. Yeah. Indeed. Um, or as Victor mentions, taking selfies with goats. That may be the real reason I'm in Petaluma. Mm. <laughs> um, on the back we have a <laughs> Jeez. now I understand it all makes so oh. much sense Mateo you're not helping yourself at all <laughs> it's fine I've got no street cred to lose, lose. it's all good <laughs> <laughs> so on the back we have a dual camera with a dual LED flash um, and a lovely pleather back which is built onto the phone It is. It is. so I'll hand this over to Flo so that she can get a feel for the device Leather? How heavy is that? Oh my gosh! It's a brick. If I threw this at someone, it would hurt them. You know, it oh, actually reminds oh. me of the V20. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. The V10. The V10? The V10. But six of them in terms of weight. Yes. I mean, <laughs> the feeling tape, of, of tape the back. Together, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, it is to... relatively oh, yeah. thick, but the, the reason for the thickness and the weight is that it has a 7,000 milliamp hour battery built into it. So for a bit of context, that's close to double the battery size of a Samsung mm -hmm. S8. And with a low power MediaTek chipset and a relatively big casing, which means the antennas are a bit more free, it means that you get three to five days normal use out of that battery. So for media playing, audio, audible audiobooks and content, it's very, very good. Uh, Doogee have done a very light touch job on the Android distribution they're running on that. It has secure Android security updates up to July, I believe, on uh, Android Nougat. So you're getting a lot of value for your $150. Uh, maybe the only downside is to it is that it has micro USB for charging. But if your accessories, your car chargers and everything are already micro USB, Maybe that's not a bad thing. Suck it up <laughs> for so 150 bucks. Um, maybe a few questions about their marketing and their copyright on their website. <laughs> be long time, belong to you. Be long time, belong to you. Yes. I don't even know what that means. It's very philosophical. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> okay. Baidu translates me. Be perpetual, me, belong me. to yourself. <sighs> Oh boy! Um, now, okay, when, uh, when, so take a look at the back of the Note 8. Let's do the obvious, obvious comparison and compare the Samsung Galaxy Note yeah, 8 to the Doji BL7000 or nine hundred dollars more. Um, what, what is the difference between a hor and actually, I, I realize I'm, I'm throwing this question at you without knowing whether you can answer it or not. What is the difference between a horizontal dual camera array and a vertical? camera array like can they do different things or does it throw off like any of the kind of like bokeh i don't think there's bokeh. that much of a difference um, okay. as long as they're two different points and they're a certain distance for each other from each Doesn't other matter. they should do, do the same thing you notice that even with other devices such as the iphones the iphone x or iphone 10 which one mm -hmm. are we mentioning that has a, a vertical alignment of the two sensors whereas okay. the the other ones have a horizontal one. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, maybe unless you're doing a wider angle shot, Yeah. if you're doing that in software. But um, for a $150 phone, the camera's pretty good. It takes really? reasonable pictures. It has bokeh effect. It has panorama effect. Um, it, it's, it's okay. Uh, nothing to complain about. 
Okay, you got a little bit of... Well, I don't so know if this That's is... a bouquet effect in, on my desk back in Edinburgh, kind of, of soft drink. I was about to say, Sprite Zero. <laughs> Do we have Sprite Zero? I don't know. I don't know. We might. Uh, I, I have noticed that as I've been playing around with it, I've had to hit the home button like a couple of times to yeah. make it work. It's not as responsive as, say, the Xiaomi Mi 6 or yeah. the Honor 9, but it is a... For for a hundred and fifty dollar phone, it's good, and it's also got a fingerprint scanner that not many other devices mm -hmm. okay. have in that price range. Wow! All right, 